just wanted to add to that, because this is the way that we will come to this from the Supreme Court. It is not into any business dealings. In Bhagavad Gita, it says, they are not Bhagavad Gita, the Guruji said that, no, Bhagavad Gita is like a summary of beginning explanation, to give us the basis. And also, the Prabhupada was doing us on this. So, those were in this country for a whole country with the Prabhupada sandwich. Morning class on Bhagavad for all day of service, and Bhagavad Gita class in the evening. If you eat a sandwich every day or seven hours classes, some of you can hear it by intellectual. But still, Bhagavad Gita is basic. No. We have to refine our understanding and, no. Understand that all of our function, by our very nature, we are the slave of Krishna. Now, Pujapat, Vajra, Shashima, Maharaj, in that word, Nietzsche does the living and his self a slave. But the word slavery for us is very unpalatable. Maharaj, Shashima, is slave, I am master, what are you talking about? And you always said, by being the, trying to be a master, and we go down, and by serving with God, what type of service? All of our shayas are specified. That specific way we should serve with him, and then we last see that shayas. No other consideration. No other identification. Just like when we offer, for instance, is Namaha. Shri Ramakrita was putting my hands on his plane. Namaha is Namaha. I have no other identity except I am Yudas. I am the servant. So, when we pay off, Obeisances with that word Namaha, we are praying, oh, good day, please stay away from my consciousness. Any other identification, any other, any other identity that I am your servant, I am made of your service, I am made for your service, I have no other identity because I am the eternal Krishna Das, I am the eternal servant of Krishna. There is nothing else, no other agenda. And this is the service that we try to emulate that kind of mood. Specifically, we come in Vrindavan and during this whole month of Kanti, we hear so much glorification of the brother Gopis. It was then exemplifying that mood of Madhavila Shukrashunya on the top of the level. There is a very incarnation of personification of that verse. When Krishna started to play the truth in the dead of night and calling them, and each of them was, was hearing her name, they came. No. And they didn't have any information. They were not thinking, oh, what will happen when I go back? There was no consideration when I go back. They knew. Because though they are not thinking, oh, we are Krishna's eternal associates. No. They are under the government of the next Krishna. They feel we are ordinary ladies. And we are bounded by the Mariana of the of woman condition. And to go and dance with a beautiful Purush in the middle of the night, this means so called sin. This means adultery, and we are bound to that. But if they consider, oh, hmm, if I go there, I may, I may go down, or I'm not able to go back. No consideration whatsoever. No plan. After the last dance, I will do this or that. No. Krishna is calling. And in the song of the truth that we detect, for oh, Krishna is you know, in need of us. He wants us so bad. Now, with his truth, he was feeling the nectar from his heart and telling them, Oh, I am not living without you. No. Please don't reject me. Please don't no, refuse me. So, he was calling that this. And when they felt this, that he was pouring his heart with that mood, immediately we have to go and give him what he wants. It needs us. No consideration what about me, what will happen after that. So they are the epitome of that first analytical question. I will stop here and not take too much time. I'll talk about the respect because I'm doing it. I'll tell you about the question.
and let those who have association in the mind you know, and they want to be selfish for it, and the whole issue, they want to get from Brahma, then rather than having the Sampradaya is coming down. The prominent Acharya in our Sampradaya, or the prominent teacher, is Sri Madhva Acharya. Madhva Acharya is, um, is the one who made this Sampradaya strong. So when Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, which everybody here is most probably aware of, is the director Sri Krishna coming to get something very, very special game, he would not work against what is given in scriptures. He would only work in alignment with what is in scriptures. So he also has to accept Diksha or Mantra in one of his Sampradayas. He chose the Mantra Sampradaya because the Mantra Sampradaya is worshipped of uh, Krishna, Bhagavata, he goes to Kurti, there is Krishna there with this with this cave, and there is also another thing. But this is also another thing is that their philosophy is Dvaitama. Or Dvaita means the eternal duality. If you see pictures of Mantrashari, he's staring at his two fingers up. Which means that there is the difference between one jiva and another jiva. There's a difference between the jiva or the soul and God. There's a difference between the soul and its material nature. The reason Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu made the Vedic King and established a Chinta Vedic and Vedic Tattva, or the inconceivable, which means by the logic itself we cannot understand this. It is Prakasha and Mahatma, it is knowledge to be realized inside the heart. This knowledge is a Chinta Vedic and Vedic Tattva, or inconceivable, simultaneous oneness and difference was taught by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. But sometimes we like to stress the difference, because when there is difference, there is an opportunity for brain or an opportunity for relationship. For love to be exchanged, there needs to be an ashram, ashram, and there needs to be a vision. Or there needs to be a giver of love, and a receiver of love, and love can be exchanged. And what is our goal? Pray for the pray for our one for our uh, uh, super most objective is to be able to attain love, to be able to attain a loving and affectionate relationship with our most beloved. Like Shri Lakshmi many times in the West, when he takes a simple basic class, he says, God is love and love is God. So by having two, or greater by, by expressing the difference, then the possibility of relationship and love is there. So now Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he came in the Mandala Sampradaya. If you go to Udupi, there are also Mandala Sampradayas. Udupi is a place in South India. All the four Sampradayas came from South India. But they are not Gaudiya Sampradaya. They are not Gaudiya Sampradaya because they do not know what Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came to get. As described in the verse, um, the subject matter of why Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came is very long. Last year I remember with uh, Sri Gude here, he was having everybody speak for almost the whole um, part of the job about why Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came, what was his speciality. But in essence, we can understand that Shivaji Malika, or the beloved of Krishna, Krishna's girlfriend, has a type of love, has a type of relationship, has, has a type of thing which is so high, which is so great that God Himself, Sri Krishna, cannot understand this. Krishna Himself is seen the love of His devotee and is not able to understand and not able to taste the sweetness. So Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is coming to this world to be able to taste that sweetness and also to share that sweetness with others. In Sri Chaitanya Charyamrita Kalyana Mahaprabhu, it is described that Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu are both the personification of mercy, or the avatar of, of, of mercy. So what does mercy mean? If somebody is not qualified, you give them something. So Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, one is taking the highest, highest type of love, the highest love which is Krishna himself, God, and not the other Govinda, the origin of everything, the master of creation, the cause of all causes. That's what 
Christian God has understood that by mistaking that God and mostly giving it to the most fallen. And this part of the human power of prayer of the higher self. That the community of the people is for the souls of this time period for very soon then. We don't know what the intelligence is. We don't, our intelligence is very less. We have no ability to be able to control and focus our mind to perform sadhana, to practice spiritual life. We are the fallen, the most fallen of the fallen in Kali Puga. So we take it to the highest level and give it to the most fallen. And he's doing the easiest process. As we know in the four yugas, or the four um, cycles of time, people used to have to do meditation for 60,000 years. But in this country, we have all that stuff, nothing but our eyes used for five minutes. People, they used to have to do many, many yugas. People have to do many arjuna. But now the easiest process is only by chanting one yugas. Just singing, chanting, remember, very easy process. So to make a big thing short, what I'm trying to say is that it's the highest love to the most fallen people in the easiest way. So this is why Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was the most merciful. So those coming in the line of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu are known as Gauriyas, or those who are um, Gauriya. There was a king in um, Bengal area, and therefore that area is called um, Gauriyas. So those who might have to come from um, Gauriyas are known as Gauriya, and those who might have to come from Odisha are known as Puriya, like this, Vaishnavas. But um, Sripad, Vishnu Dhanam Maharaj, Sripad, yeah, Sripad, 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 so that uh, Buddha means um, jaggery or like the essence of cane juice or of sugar. So those who are Gauriya are coming to taste this very deep, deep essence, this deep sweetness, which you take that in our who came to you. There's a very um, special Yadana that I was talking about. So now Sri Pachirtama is just asking that, okay, whether it's the Gauriya Sampradaya, then what's DPS? Pure Bhakti Yoga Society, that's us sitting in this room. One time, sometimes I, I see that many people have this conception that we should all come together, that we should have one universal life of faith, there should be no different groups, and that this is wrong. But if we look at the spiritual world, there's also different camps and different groups. In many scriptures it says, the Dhamma of Faith is a good way. That the type of association which one should seek out is someone who is the Jatiya. Jata comes from the time for Jatya or birth. So the Jatiya, he who is born in the same time, or the one who has the same mood, the same inspiration. Because even in the